All right, if you have a weak stomach, this, this is the warning right here. Our next story involves both eyeballs and brains, and you're going to see just a little bit of them. It is Halloween week after all, but this isn't about zombies. This is about a program at a local library that encourages kids to love science. Here's what our Ann Herps witnessed this week. Are you returning it? Yes. Sir. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Libraries are where minds are exposed to new places. I found it. Eye-opening ideas, too. We're talking eyeballs here. And at anything here on Street Library. All right. Eyes are opened. But you're going to cut around the cornea. In a very literal way. Eyes, my favorite dissection. Know why? Andrea Hildebrandt isn't a mad scientist. No, I've got one of those disorders. I've got a lazy eye. She's mad for science and runs science on demand. I'm a former science teacher and, uh, you know, it's just fascinating to, to learn about science and sometimes in a little more informal setting <laughs> uh, can really pique a, a kid's interest. The lens, again, when it is alive, is clear. Anything invited Andrea and her cow eyeballs here. <laughs> just in time for Halloween. There's parts of it that can be kind of like thick, like a jelly. Perfect timing for kids' minds to run wild. I feel like I'm a doctor about to do some surgery on an eye. I think I can pull this out. The brain is waking up. So I'm gonna cut it in half so we can look inside. Sheep brains turn a learning experience for some. That looks like chicken meat. Into a horror film for others. Somebody said it looked like chicken. I'm not having chicken for dinner. This library and Andrea gets to them while they're young. There is no better like tactile experience than actually like you know, holding an actual eyeball to actually really make you appreciate your own body. They know kids learn in all sorts of ways. See how it has a weird growth on it? And sometimes books just don't cut it. Oh, nice iris. For next, this is Ann Herbst. So all those eyeballs and brains, they tell us, are byproducts from the meat processing industry. Use every last bit, I suppose.